Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and today I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be washing my goddess braids. I've had these in for nearly two weeks now. Tomorrow marks two weeks. But my scalp is just itching for a wash or a rinse. So I'm going to be focusing mainly on my scalp today. I'm trying not to wet my whole braids because the braids are already quite heavy. And if I'm gonna wet them, I'm gonna be hanging like this. So I don't want that. And I want to I want it to dry quickly. So I've been looking on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, trying to find methods to really just focus on the scalp and not create too much frizz. So I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna take you guys with me on this little braid wash journey. It's been a while since I've had braids and I've really been loving them. I'm actually surprised that my hair still looks this good and it's almost two weeks in, but my scalp is just itching too much so I really need to wash it. Otherwise, I don't think I would have washed it because I feel like they still look pretty good. The only thing I would say is that I use synthetic hair for the curls and yeah, next time I'm not doing that. I'm definitely using human hair for the curls next time because they are just matting and tangling and yeah, I already cut a few pieces out. Depending on how this wash goes, I might cut out all the curly pieces just because yeah, they're just too tangly and they're too much work. Like look at this. This is literally all tangled up. To be honest, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but it bothers me a lot on the day to day. And I've been putting mousse in it every day and trying to care for it, but you know, it's synthetic hair, so you can't really expect too much. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So last night I applied some of this wild growth hair oil to my scalp, kind of as a pre-poo, I guess. I just wanted to oil my scalp really well without the fear of it being too greasy or causing buildup because I knew I was gonna wash it today anyway, so. I did a little oil treatment with this. And then to clean my scalp, I'm going to use this applicator bottle, some apple cider vinegar, and your shampoo of choice. I'm using this Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. This actually already has apple cider vinegar in it, so I'm not going to use too much apple cider vinegar, but I just wanted something that would lather up as well because I could just do an apple cider vinegar rinse but the buildup is quite bad, so I'm gonna use the shampoo with it. So you can see quite some buildup on the edges because obviously I've been doing my edges every day. And then my scalp has been really itchy and I can just feel like the buildup there as well. I'm not sure if you can even see the buildup on my head. This is what it's looking like right now. She actually made these braids. I, I knew these braids were too heavy because straight away, like now I'm getting used to it, but as she was braiding them, like as she finished braiding them, I could tell that the braids were thicker than I would want them to be. And so I've noticed that the two braids on the side here, they're so heavy for my hair that I can tell that a few hairs have come out because I can see the hair follicles popping up, poking out, which is really unfortunate. But to be honest, since I did a big chop two years ago, I really don't care what happens to my hair. Like if it gets damaged, I'm gonna just cut it again. So yeah, this is, this is all right, it's not a big deal. Um, and hopefully it's not too much damage. Anyways, I'm going to start off with this apple cider vinegar. You wanna shake it because it has some like muck on the bottom that's apparently really important. I can just never get over the smell of apple cider vinegar. That's about it, I'm not gonna use too much. This is 30 ml. And then I'm going to add some of my shampoo to that. So it's about one ounce, I think of apple cider vinegar and then some shampoo give it a bit of a stir this looks disgusting i'm gonna add a little more shampoo just to mask the smell of that apple cider vinegar and then i'm going to add some warm water about halfway through and then you want to just shake it i'm doing no measurements by the way i'm just freestyling this Okay, I just put a towel around me to make it a bit easier. If I look that way, it's because my mirror is this way and yeah, I might need support of the mirror. Anyways, let's do this. We just gonna, we're just gonna focus on the scalp, apply it to the parting and just rub it like this very gently because I don't wanna cause too much frizz. Okay, let's try this. Oh, 
Okay, I definitely need more shampoo. I think I think I added too much water, so I'm gonna take some out and add more shampoo. I really want it to lather more. There we go. Don't use your nails, just use your fingertips. This is what I mean. I can't even flip over this braid because the curls are stuck. Okay, now that my scalp is fully covered and I've massaged it properly, I'm going to put it up in a bun and I'm going to focus like the shower head just on my scalp so the rest of my hair that's in a bun is not going to get wet and hopefully that works. So I put my hair in a very loose bun, I didn't even tie the hair tie around it, I just put it around it once. And I'm just going to use the shower head to really rinse my scalp and that's it. So let's get in the shower. So just got out of the shower. I want to say I did a pretty good job. The bun doesn't feel that heavy yet. Let's see how it feels when the hair is down. It took a while to get the shampoo out though. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. That actually looks pretty good. I feel like once I set it, it's gonna look laid. Okay, I'm, I'm quite impressed. I'm quite impressed actually. This is what my scalp looks like right now. You guys be the judge of whether it's clean my scalp properly. Okay, it still feels a little bit sticky on my scalp. Or not sticky, but a little bit, like I can feel there's a little bit of product. I had quite some buildup, obviously, but I didn't want to do too much. I didn't want to cause too much frizz, so all I did was rub the product in. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. I'm not wearing these braids for super long. I think I'm gonna take them out after like a week um, Because I have a collaboration to film so yeah, I'm okay with that We can push this hairstyle for another week and that's all I really wanted Anyways, what we're doing next is applying some hair mousse and some oil to my scalp I'm gonna apply a tiny bit of this Miel rosemary mint oil because I don't really want to cause too much buildup, so I'm just applying a tiny bit, um, not even all over my scalp, but just my problem areas, like these corners here, and on the other side. And then I'm going to use this Cream of Nature Argan Oil Foaming Mousse to kind of set the flyaways, and also apply them to the curls to bring them back to life a little bit. This also helps to add a little bit of moisture to your own hair that's braided in the braid. As you can tell, it's so tangled up. I'm, I'm better off just not detangling it, but look at this piece. This one I'm definitely cutting off because it's just one big tangle. Okay, that's the curls done and now we're going to load this up. Okay, I might have applied a little bit too much. Okay, I've applied the mousse and now I'm gonna tie it with this headscarf. And I'm going to blow dry it until it's dry. 
But to be honest, the braids are completely fine. Like I could go outside like this without it feeling like it's super wet or heavy. I'm going to blow dry this. I'm just going to apply heat on top of the headscarf and let the mousse set. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in the end. And there we have it. This is what my braids look like. I'm actually quite surprised by how little frizz it caused. It obviously caused a little bit of frizz, but I expected way more. And I feel like I could easily do another week, if not another two weeks with this hairstyle. So I'm glad that my scalp is clean and is not too much frizz. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it was a little bit helpful to those of you that have braids or that want to get braids but don't know how to wash their hair or clean their scalp in between. I think with protective hairstyles it's really important to keep cleaning and taking care of your scalp and your hair because otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose and it's not a protective hairstyle anymore. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!